it to a fourth coin toss. Required officials to enforce all rules regarding unsportsmanlike conduct. Violated to be ejected. Strongly recommend I have a coin with the regular heads and the tails on it. Pass it down the line. Visiting team is going to call it prior to you tossing it. Coin is in the air. Passing it is in the heads. When you find the toss, you need to light it. You tell them we're going to want to take the ball. Put it back to the goal. Four points. We'll be going first and ten this way. Shake hands from Thomas. Play ball.
numbers. Maximus Pasco. Yeah. <laughs> 
Washington for number 16. Go to the house, boy. King Films, we're here with head coach Dorset to give a bounce to coach. 2016, Duval kind of public middle school champions. Talk about the feeling, coach. Hey man, it feels great, man. I don't know how we came out here. We don't have a second time to play, but our kids came out with a victory, and I enjoyed it. Coach, you went down 8-0, then ultimately fell down 14-0. Talk about your team as they uh prepare for that comeback, coach. 
always believed in this team, man. The defense came along. All we needed is a, a spot on the offense. They gave us a chance to go and score. And I, hey, I, my hat's off to those guys, man. They did a great job. Talk about what you told the team at halftime real quick, Coach, to pick them back up. Uh, just tell them 0-0, zero, zero, man. At the end of the day, you guys go out there and play, play hard as you can. I mean, we can win this game. Yes, sir. Kobe Bates, a lot of plays there in that second half. Kevontae Doles, lots of huge plays. Coach, give me something on those two guys and what they meant for this game tonight. It, it, is, it is just what you've seen. Those kids are great kids, man. They're humble. I love the way they play, man. Hey, one, my hat's all to them. Six, my hat's all to them. Like I told them, I continue to go to high school with the same intensity. So, my hat's all to them, and I love them. Coach, real quick, talk about the second half defense. Oh, that second half defense. Like I said, they just had to adjust a certain thing. Coach Mike put them in adjustment where they had to make plays, and, and that's what they did. They made plays. Coach, thanks for talking with me, and they're going to celebrate with your team. Thank you, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, it, Coach. Appreciate it. Before we give the trophy out, we also want to identify and select the MVP. The MVP for the 2016 Middle School Football Championship is number one. Mr. Good job, good job, man. Good job. Give him a hand. Hey, Lex, 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 come here. And tonight, with the press play Okay. Tonight, we like to present the 2016, 2017, Middle School Football Champions, the Gilbert Panthers! Yeah. Come on up, Coach Green. Coach Green! Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Congratulations, Joe. Congratulations! DuvalSports.com, Dream King Films. We're here with Chris Dodd Smith for the uh, Gilbert Panthers. Hey, Chris, man, how I feel to have that trophy in your hands? Hey, I got the speeches. Just proud of my boys. Hey, talk about uh, y'all team, man. Y'all was down 14-0. Talk about your team and how y'all held y'all heads up and fought back. It was mandatory. We had to uh, keep all heads up because we, we was going for the win. We had to get a ring on our finger. Last year, eighth grade. Uh, being with Gilbert all three years, I just trusted them boys. I knew we was going to put it Two-time champion, one loss in your career, Gilbert. How much fun you had over the years playing for Gilbert? Too much fun. I don't think I'ma find it nowhere else. I appreciate Coach Mike and Coach Dorsey. Chris Dow, y'all was down 8-0 at halftime. Talk about what your coach told y'all to keep y'all motivated. It was basically a full chapters to the book. We was finished with two, and we were starting off two more pages. And we had to put where we was gonna win or we was gonna lose, and we the coach had chopped off with a win. Talk about that second half defense. Everybody know Fletcher got a ton of playmakers. Talk about your defensive line, your linebackers, your overall defense, and how they held off Fletcher in that second half, Chris. They was doing it. Uh, our boys was just stopping it. We had, we had to. We had no other choice. We were trying to put the W up on the board. Kobe Bates got in the end zone. Yes, Kevontae Doe's made a lot of crazy plays tonight. He got in the end zone. Larry Toe got in the end zone. Talk about those three guys in your offensive line, Chris. Uh, my offensive line, I want to say them first. They, uh, appreciate them boys. They always blocking. Can't do it without them. Uh, but to the backs, had some big runs, playmakers. Hey, Chris. Thanks for talking with me. And good luck to your future. Before we get out of here, show me that trophy one more time. Yes, sir. There it is, then. All right, appreciate you, Chris.
DuvonSports.com, Dream King Films, we're with Coach Michael the Gilbert Panthers. Coach, y'all raise another trophy out of these, man. Talk about the feeling real quick, Coach. Man, it feels good, man. Uh, we just came a long way. My hat's off to the guys that came out, man, and wanted to bring this thing back out of these, man. My hat's off to Fletcher, man. They really, we told them Fletcher was going to be a different team this time around. And they really came and brought the fight to us, man. And we just, man, overcame adversity. We had a lot of flags. We played a sloppy, real sloppy first half. But, I mean, we've been battle tested all year. We've been in close games, and we kept telling the kids, just keep playing. And um, we made some little minor adjustments on defense that we saw that we wasn't doing with our linebackers. They was just more stationary and not coming through our gaps like we were supposed to. And once we fixed that, man, we was all right. A couple big plays by light. And man, the rest is history, man. Third to 14, to stop a good team like that, man, and shut them down in the second half, it says a lot about our defense. Yes, sir. Coach, y'all went down 8-0, fell down 14 zip. Talk about your second half defense and how they rose to the occasion, coach. It just, I mean, they felt like, you know what I'm saying, we missed a couple of plays here and there. Even with the jump pass that they hit on us, they knew the pass was coming, but like, like we tell them, you know, you're gonna give up some plays in football. You just gotta keep playing, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we got 28th graders, so, their mindset was not to give up. So we told them, we just keep playing and once we score, we'll be all right. And um, you know, God was with us tonight, man. I'm just glad that the kids fought through adversity and um, we got this in the bag tonight, man. Yes, sir. Coach, you get two goal line stops. Talk about your defense again and how they rose to the challenge to stop flesh on the goal line twice. Well, the adjustment we made is uh, I took Chris um, Johnson and put him at linebacker because I noticed that they was running away from him. So I moved him to the inside linebacker to kind of show up the dive play. So once we stopped the dive, I knew we was going, you know, we, our, our problem is never tackling on the edges. It's always in the middle because we're not heavy up, up front. So once we moved Chris to the middle and then we came back with him on the edges, um, it was pretty much signed to deliver. We just, football's a game of adjustments, man. If you're not making adjustments, you're not trying to win. Yes, sir, Coach. Kevante Doe, Larry Toe, yeah, man, the big Kobe guy, Bates man. provided a lot of plays for y'all on offense. Coach, how special those three guys are? Hey, man, I'm going to miss it. I'm not going to lie. Kobe, when we got behind, we had to go with Kobe quarterback because we had to speed up a little bit. We couldn't really sit back and run our offense, and Kobe is the guy that we come in for spread-wise. He's the guy to get it done, and he made some big plays. Um, Kevante been big all year. At any time, he can score with the ball, and um, Toe, man, Told you, he just he's done so much this year. Offense, defense, he's been the he's been the Swiss Army knife for us this year. He do anything we ask him to do, and he wait his turn and he go in there and eat when he's supposed to. And I'm gonna miss those guys. It's gonna be hard to replace them three guys when they leave. Yes, sir, Coach. Uh, Deirdre Smith, Chris Johnson, they put the clamps on late in that game. Talk about what makes those guys special as well, Coach. First of all, they good kids, man, and they're smart kids. We talking about 3.4, 3.5 kids. So whatever you tell them, they're going to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to do exactly what you tell them to do. They don't try to do their own thing. They are coachable kids. Whoever get those guys going to high school, I guarantee you, you probably have two Super 11s in probably about three years. Yes, sir, Coach. One loss in four years, three championships. What y'all doing out of these, Coach? Hey, man, I mean, everybody want to win. I guess this jury, man, everybody want one of these, man. Everybody want, one, everybody want one of these. We brought it back this year. We got a new one, so I got to go home and design a new ring. But um, to all the kids out there, yeah, it's a coaching pitch. You want a ring, you want some bling, come out easy, man. We, Hey, G5, we doing our thing, man. For sure, man. Appreciate you, Coach. Good luck to y'all for you, Tyrese. Hey, Dream Kings, baby, you about to wake up. Appreciate you, Coach. <laughs>